What's up, everybody? We're out at Fan Day at ML Teagmore Field, Raging Cajun baseball team. Season beginning Friday on the 14th of February against Eastern Illinois. Jonathan Lucroy, current Milwaukee Brewer, former Raging Cajun, all of the current Cajuns here today for Fan Day. Beautiful day at the Teague. We're going to talk to Coach Rue, former and current players, show you the home run derby, the interest class scrimmage to works. Ryan Banowitz is here with me. Let ESPN 1420.com take you through Fan Day. All right, it's Fan Day. We're with associate head baseball coach of Louisiana's Raging Cajuns, Anthony Babineau. Fan Matt. Day, we've got great weather out here. The kids are signing autographs for all the, all the little ones, and, and it's really a fun day to be involved. Well, the fans are uh, are looking forward to it, obviously, every season of this year. Preseason rankings high in a number of polls. Coach Robe always says he likes to say, you know what, it's just paper. We haven't done anything yet. But what does it mean? What, what is it like in the locker room when you guys acknowledge, you know what? At least somebody's looking at us. They're expecting us to do big things this year. Right. Well, there is some truth, or a lot of truth, to what Coach Robe says. You know, we haven't done anything yet. Fan day every year, what's it like to see all the fans come out? Well, you know, it's good for our players because, you know, they grind all fall from August all the way to December. And there's really nobody in the stands. And then now on fan day, week before opening day, they get to see how many people are truly behind them and their program. And, and today's their day, you know, we want them to have fun with this. We, we grind on them every day, like I said, at practice, so today's for them. And your players seem to all enjoy each other. You said they can be goofy, but they focus when they can. Today seems like it's one of those light days, and they get to go against each other. How much you guys been looking forward to putting on a show for the fans? Well, it's good. You know, I mean, the home run hit contest is going to be for bragging rights in the clubhouse from here on in, so it'll be taken pretty seriously. And Again, it gives our fans a chance to come out and just try to remind everybody that we're one week away from opening day. And they're talking about jacking up the players. This team seems like it's still really, really hungry. And do you think this team has what it takes to make it all the way to Omaha? I mean, based on what I've heard, absolutely. I think they got, you know, they led the nation on home runs last year. I think that's saying a lot right there. That's a lot of power, you know, especially with the, the new bats that they came out with and all that. You know, where I played, we didn't have those, those things to worry about. But, um, <clears throat> you know, from what I've heard, I mean, there's a lot of optimism based around this team. So I'm looking forward to, you know, checking up on them this season. Well, you got to report tomorrow, catchers and pitchers. So you could have made an excuse and said, you know, coach, I can't make it. I got to get ready for work. Why is it so important for you to to always just be kind of a, a staple and a foundation as a Raising Cajun alum? Well, you know, I uh, obviously every if, I, if I'm still here when they do the fan day, I try to show up. Some I've missed some years, but obviously like this year, I'm leaving tomorrow morning, so I had time. And plus, I got all my big packing out of the way, so I didn't have really. I really didn't feel like doing anything else today, so uh, it uh, ended up working out good. Right? How much has Fan Day changed from whenever you were here? Has it grown a lot? It has. You know, I, I remember uh, whenever I was here, there wasn't this, quite this many people, but it's nice to see with the success of the team, you know, the university in general with the football program, how they're doing. Um, it's nice to see the support really come out. It's really good to see. So you don't think they all just came to see you? No, definitely <laughs> not. I don't know why they would. But yeah, I don't think so. All right, we're visiting with Dan McDonald. He's going to be your play-by-play -play man for Rage of Cajun Baseball in week two of the season when the Cajuns are at Southern Miss. Catch all that action on News Talk 96.5 KPL, our sister station. But Rage and Cajuns lead the Sun Belt in baseball attendance every single year. This year's going to be no exception. And uh, the excitement around this season and with the preseason rankings, I'm not going to say as high as it's ever been, but it's certainly up there. Well, this team has a chance. I mean, they have a chance to do something pretty special, and we'll start seeing that come this Friday when they open up against Eastern Illinois with that four-game series. But they're going to get tested along the line. A lot of really good teams coming in here to Moore Field, and they'll also face a lot of them on the road. In fact, you mentioned that Week 2 game against a very, very good Southern Mississippi team for that three-game series, and that's a great test for these guys when they get into what is going to be a very competitive Sunbelt Conference. Here with home run champ Michael Strentz. Mike, are you ever going to let your teammates let this one go? Are you ever going to let them forget that you're the home run champ? No, definitely not. It's my last year, so I'm definitely going to come back and tell them about it. See, they said you might have been using some illegal pine tar too high up on the battery. Are you going to go with the debate? No. Yeah!
Ryan Banowitz here, wrapping it up at Fan Day for ESPN 1420. As Michael Strentz put on a show with 11 home runs in the home run derby, takes home the home run crown, and his team let him know how much they appreciate it by dousing him with ice water with a little bit of the dump bath. So he also got to change his jerseys, and in between, the competitors beat the aggressors 2 to nothing in three innings as the Cajuns beat the Cajuns. But overall, the fans and everybody won who came out today. As he had some nice weather, the kids were out getting autographs. Overall, all fun was had, and nobody got hurt. So the Cajuns get poised to start their play next week as we'll bring you all the action of Cajun baseball here at Town Square Media.